Okay, um, so I'm going to do a tutorial this afternoon on using gravity with uh, initial stresses. Um, so what we're going to cover today, first of all, is when do you actually need to use gravity? Because in reality, if you can get away without it, your life will be simpler. So, um, yeah, so we need to figure out if we really need it or not. Uh, we'll cover how to use gravitational body forces in three dimensions. We'll also cover using initial stresses, which we fr frequently use to offset the uh, effects of gravity so that when you turn it on, you don't get this huge squishing of your entire mesh. Uh, we'll also talk about um, our small strain formulation in three dimensions, which, which is a finite strain uh, formulation as opposed to the default, which is uh, infinitesimal strain. We'll also talk about uh, viscoelastic relaxation using a linear Maxwell model. And then finally, we'll have a spatial database with an irregular distribution of points in three dimensions. Uh, and I should also note that a lot of uh, our current problems, uh, for instance, balancing forces with gravity should be improved uh, once we have higher order elements in pilot. So first of all, when do you actually need gravity? So for a lot of problems, you don't. Like if you're doing an elastic problem where you're just slipping a fault or something like that, gravity will have no effect on your results, so you don't actually need it. But some cases you would if you have a pressure dependent bulk rheology like plasticity. So the uh, effects of gravity are going to be important for that. Or if you have stress dependent fault rheology. Uh, even if you do have a stress dependent fault rheology, a lot of times you can get away with using the fault initial stresses rather than uh, gravitational stresses. So uh, again, if you can avoid gravity, it will make it easier. You can do an initial calculation where you actually figure out what the gravitational stresses on the fault are and then apply those uh, for your actual friction uh, problem. But uh, for some viscoelastic simulations where you care about vertical deformation, you need gravity because it actually damps down the uh, displacements uh, that you would get otherwise. And then there could be other simulations where you actually care about the absolute stress state and not just stress changes. So uh, there are some other uh, fairly detailed gravity examples that, well, the most detailed one is this uh, 2D gravity one. So it's got eight different um, exercises that you can follow through. So uh, that's another good one to look at. There's a very simple, uh, some very simple 3D examples in the examples 3D hex eight directory. <clears throat> 